Well, good morning, cruise fans. Here we are now. It's day eight on our 10 day cruise on the beautiful celebrity silhouette. And today we're in St. John's Antigua, uh, that beautiful island in the southeastern Caribbean. And uh, we're on the back of the lovely silhouette. And I just thought I would give you a little panoramic view of the port. Um, there's a, a little welcome band here down uh, at the entrance to the port and um, always nice to see and hear. Um, today we're going to go off and we think we're going to do a little bit of a tour around the island. Certainly look downtown and in the port area itself and we like to share that with you. So come along with us as we take a little tour of St. John's and Tiga. Before we go off this morning, uh, just thought I would share just a, a quick glimpse over the pool deck. And we're in St. John's Antigua today. And I always like to sort of showcase other cruise ships when they are in the port next to us. And today we have Enchanted Princess, uh, a lovely looking ship, obviously part of Princess Group, which is subsequently part of the Carnival Group of companies and uh, just thought I would share this lovely cruise ship with you. Um, we've not tried Princess yet but it's certainly on our list of uh, cruise lines to try. So isn't that lovely? So that's Enchanted Princess alongside us in here in St. John's Antigua. It's day eight on our 10 day cruise around the Caribbean on the beautiful Celebrity Silhouette. So. We hope you, you like that. I thought I would share with you this beautiful shot of Celebrity Silhouette and also Enchanted Princess from the Princess Cruise Lines, part of the Celebrity Group. And uh, it's always lovely to see other brands of cruise ships in the port alongside, so that's uh, great. And very nicely over on this left hand side, we have Celebrity Silhouette, of course, a uh, beautiful ship. And there's also another uh, cruise ship that's here. And uh, that's the Silver Seas. Uh, sorry, it's a Regent Silver Seas uh, ship. And it's quite busy here in the port this morning. There are actually four uh, cruise ships uh, in. And of course, we've got a nice little welcome band but over on the far right hand side there's another princess ship it's regent princess so we'll go and have a look at her in a minute but just outside the port area is uh, a lovely little steel band that's uh, giving us a bit of entertainment okay so uh, a very busy port here today uh, in the far right hand side we have regent princess part of the princess group Next to her, her sister, Enchanted Princess. Of course, the beautiful celebrity silhouette. And over here on the left-hand side, we have a, a Regent Seven Seas ship, the Grandeur. How lovely is that? So it's uh, great to see so many cruise ships in the port all together. Uh, we hope you like that. It's always nice to see other brands and uh, do a little showcase of those individual ships and those cruise lines. So that's Regent Princess, Enchanted Princess, Celebrity Silhouette, and Regent Grandeur. And of course, as well as the uh, cruise ships in the port, we have the uh, port shopping area and uh, lots of uh, brands that you're most likely to see in the shopping areas in the ports um, and perhaps some that you haven't seen and while we're being uh, entertained by the steel band uh, we'll take a walk up further into the port and a little bit further away now so we can uh, just check out a few more other stores and of course not surprising there's a Diamond International here 
and a variety of other jewellers and uh, gift shops and uh, apparel shops and a whole bunch of folks that are offering taxi services and maybe some port tour services so we'll have a little uh, do a bit of research and then we'll see uh, where that takes us and uh, a nice pub and bar and of course a number of jewellery stores and shops and little travel agencies okay so welcome back to the channel everybody and uh, here we are now it's uh, we're just adjacent to the dockyard uh, on the other side of the island now so we've uh, taken a little uh, private tour with two other couples and um, this is the uh, national park we're not actually going to go in there today but we thought we'd share with you uh, a little view of the park and the hills in the distance also a nice view across Nelson's dockyard which is on the other side of the island of course and of course Susie's here and uh, we're just doing a little private tour and uh, we'll share a little bit more of the island with you as we go along. Stay tuned. And as you go along some of the main uh, thoroughfares here, of course there will be little stores and retail outlets and uh, uh, little market stalls set up uh, selling their wares and a bit of apparel and knickknacks and gifts etc. Our second stop on this little island tour and here we are now just past Carlisle Bay and we're in another beautiful part of the island. This is Kirtland Bluff and uh, the residences on the uh, right hand side that you can see going up the rocks there are the uh, hotel apartments and a beautiful village and a beautiful beach and a lovely place to stop and just stretch our legs a little bit. This is on the southernmost side of the island and this is the Atlantic Ocean and uh, where you see at the top of the point there the breakwater apparently that it's quite good for snorkeling so if you're coming down to Antigua and you're looking to do some snorkeling this is a great place for you to come and then just over on the left hand side is Carlisle Bay and there's a few nice hotels up there uh, that uh, you can book and come and stay um, isn't that lovely uh, a lovely little uh, viewpoint and a beautiful looking beach and some lovely flora and fauna around the edge of the beach and a very tropical feel about the uh, beach itself how lovely is that yeah, so a lovely view. Uh, not many on the beach because um, of some of the uh, tide conditions. Um, it's quite rough down there, but uh, some of the locals do get out there early in the morning or late at night when it calms down a little bit. And here we are now, stop number three on our local tour. This is Darkwood Beach. Darkwood Beach, it's on the southern side of the island and this is the Caribbean Sea, not the uh, Atlantic like we'd seen just previously. Lovely little place, a uh, few local businesses around, the odd, uh, the odd bar and restaurant and a lovely surf and uh, something really quiet and relaxing. How lovely is that? And uh, Darkwood Beach is a lovely, uh, peaceful beach. And here's Susie uh, getting her feet wet here on the beach. And a nice little tourist spot. And you can get yourself an umbrella and some lounges. And you can chill out and get yourself something to eat and have a lovely beach day. So that's Darkwood Beach on the south east corner of Antigua and of course you can get yourself a jet ski and uh, go and have a laugh and a frolic and so on this lovely 
beach, Darkwood Beach. There's also a nice little uh, restaurant where you can get yourself a nice drink and something to eat. And quite a popular stop on the, the local tours. And if you wanted to get a uh, taxi here, straight from the cruise port, it would cost you 40 bucks uh, each way. Um, but of course, up to four persons, so it could uh, work out a little bit cheaper. Okay, so there we are. So we've just been on the local uh, tour, independent tour, and we'll give you a bit of a shout out to our tour uh, driver, essentially a taxi minibus tour around a few of the uh, beaches and a few of the places of interest. And we're back now in the port at St. John's and we'll take a little walk around here, maybe do a bit of uh, retail therapy and it looks as though we've done the right thing because it's uh, starting to rain you just feel a few one or two drops and uh, and then we'll get back on board and we'll uh, go and find a nice cool pool and a nice cold beer there you go so that was uh, Antigua a bit of a roundabout tour around a few of the beaches and uh, we're now back in the port area itself and as we get a little bit closer to the uh, to the quayside I just thought I'd give you one last little scan of the port shopping area and the big pan now has uh, departed and uh, one sole uh, bongo drummer is uh, left with us and uh, we've been out for a few hours it's half past one now and get back on board okay so that's us back through the uh, security area the blue building and uh, let's say goodbye now to St John's Antigua it's been a lovely day uh, we have done one of these little independent uh, taxi tours around the island, which was quite nice. And um, as we get back on board, we can see the two princess ships here to our right and the Regent Seven Sea ship to our left and the beautiful celebrity silhouette. So, we hope that's been useful. You ho we hope you've enjoyed this little tour around the island. And as ever, and of course, when we return back to the port, we can get a nice refreshing drink and a nice towel, freezing cold towel with ice uh, from our friends here at Celebrity Cruises. So we hope you've enjoyed today's video. And if you'd like to see more, then check out our channel, Ray and Sue's Travel Channel, where you'll find a multitude of different videos covering ship tours, port tours, and offering up tips and advice. You'll also find individual playlists where you can center in on a specific ship or a specific itinerary. And consider liking and subscribing to Ray and Sue's Travel Channel. It's free, and there's not a lot of free these days, is there? Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye.